Pre-orders for Halo 5 Guardians went live today, and if these last few months of game releases have taught us anything, it's that immediately reserving yourself a copy months before launch might not be such a good idea. Halo 5 will certainly be one of the biggest Xbox One exclusives to launch in 2015, and there will no doubt be a huge number of pre-orders, even now when the game doesn't have an official release date. But even with a pre-order, there's no guarantee the game will be good or even work right on day one. Look at the huge number of glitches associated with Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed Unity. That game had everything from problems with the running mechanic to characters having no faces. And then there's the most relevant example of Halo The Master Chief Collection, a game combining the previous four Halo games into one release. That game's multiplayer feature, which for many is the main draw of the game, was pretty much completely busted for the first month it was on the market. Sure, eventually 343 Industries did get the kinks worked out, but that's still a month between dropping 60 bucks and actually being able to play parts of the game. Plus, there's always the chance that the game could just flop. Many gamers still remember the terrible travesty that was Aliens Colonial Marines. Then there's the fact that a pre-order doesn't do much for you as a consumer anyway. For one, no store is going to run out of copies of the newest installment in a hugely popular franchise like Halo. There are usually in-game bonuses for pre-ordering, but those are typically pretty trivial to the overall experience. Do you really think having that red speeder in Destiny really made you enjoy the game more? As a writer for Polygon points out, the benefits of a pre-order boil down to three things, none of which help the consumer. Pre-orders give retailers a better idea on how to stock their inventory. They lock consumers into that retailer because they won't go anywhere else to buy that title. And high pre-order numbers give publishers something to brag about. Back to Halo 5, 343 Industries is doing something right ahead of launching and giving players access to a beta starting Monday. That gives 343 a chance to stress test the game and make sure they don't encounter the same issues they had with their last release. So if you want a great Halo 5 experience next year, the best thing to do might be to simply skip the pre-order. Hold on to your cash and go play some Halo, unless you really just have to have the exclusive poster that comes with a standard edition pre-order. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.